Hello student, let's see another numerical from the design of V-Belt. The problem statement goes like this. A 50 kilowatt power is to be supplied to an air compressor rotating at 380 rpm through a V-Belt. The drive speed is 960 rpm. The center to center distance is limited to 1.5 meter. Find the size and number of belts. Let's write down the data. The belt given is V belt. The power is 50 kilowatt. The machine is air compressor. N1 is 960 rpm. N2 is 380 rpm. Center to center distance C is 1.5 meter, that is 1500 mm. So, step one design power. We know the formula. Design power is given as P multiplied by FA. So after substituting the value of P as 50 and FA as 1.1, I get the answer for design power as 55 kilowatt. Second step, selection of standard cross section of a belt. For a 55 kilowatt power, following options are available. As given on a table, there are three cross sections available as C, D and E with a power as 7.5 to 75, 22 to 150 and 30 to 190 kilowatt respectively. As we had seen in the earlier problem that if we have two options then we have to select the smaller section to have less bending stress and more life. But if you have three options then select middle option to compromise between the life and the strength. So in this case, we will be selecting a cross section D and the dimensions of the cross section D is given as shown in the figure below. So from the figure we can write down BC is equal to T tan 20. Therefore, WN is 32 mm, T is 19 mm, this we have referred from PHG 7.85. So I can write down W2 is equal to W1 minus 2BC. Hence W2 is equal to 32 minus 2T tan 20. And if I substitute the value of T as 19, I get the answer for W2 as 18.17 mm. Next, area of cross section of the belt, the formula is given as W1 plus W2 divided by 2 multiplied by T. So A is written as 32 plus 18.17 divided by 2 multiplied by 19. So the answer for A as 476.61 mm square. Since the cross section is D, maximum width of the belt that is W1 is equal to 32 mm. Minimum width of belt that is W2 is 18.17 mm. Thickness of the belt T is 19 mm. Angle of groove that is 2 beta is 40 degree. Area of cross section that is capital A is 476.61 mm square. Mass of the belt per meter length is 0 0.596 kgf. And minimum recommended pulley diameter that is D minimum is 355 mm. Next step is to select the pulley diameter. So first, driving pulley diameter that is small d. So by Severian condition 1100 into cube root of design power divided by n1 must be less than or equal to d less than or equal to 1300 into cube root of p divided by n1. So if I substitute the value of p as 55 kilowatt and n1 as 960 I get the answer as 424.06 is less than or equal to D, less than or equal to 501.16. According to Severian condition, the pulley diameter must be between 424.06 mm and 501.16 mm. And also, minimum recommended pulley diameter for section D is D minimum as 355 mm. So selecting D is equal to 424.06 mm. So standard pulley diameter from PSG 7.54 is given as 450 mm. So 
with this for checking for the velocity v we can write down the formula as pi d n1 upon 60 is equal to pi into 450 into 960 into 10 raised to power minus 3 divided by 60. So I get the answer for v as 22.62 meter per second which is less than 25 meter per second. Since the belt speed must not exceed 25 meter per second therefore our selection of d as 450 mm is perfect. Next is diameter of a driven pulley that is capital D. We know the formula capital D is equal to small d into n1 upon n2 into eta. So we substitute the value as 355 for small d and 960 and 380 for n1 and n2 and for eta is 0 0.98. I get the answer for capital D as 1141.11 mm. Selecting standard value of d as 1120 mm from PHG 7.54. So again recalculate I that is capital D is equal to small d into I into eta. So therefore I get the recalculated value for I as 2.53. Next step is calculation of the belt length that is L. We know the formula for belt length as L is equal to 2C plus pi by 2 into capital D plus D plus capital D minus small d whole square divided by 4C. So by substituting the value in this formula we get the length of the belt as 5540.97 mm. The length of the belt L from the PHG 7.60 is standard length as 6124 mm that is 6.5 one two four meter so next is to calculate length correction factor that is fc and it is selected as one from pag 7.60 next center to center distance we know the formula a is equal to l by 4 minus pi times capital d plus small d divided by 8 so by substituting the values in the formula we get a is equal to 6124 divided by 4 minus pi times 1 2 sorry 1120 plus 450 divided by 8 so i get the answer as a is equal to 914.46 mm the value of capital d as capital d minus small d whole square divided by 8 so i can write down it as 1120 minus 450 whole square divided by 8 so I get the answer for B as 56112.5 mm and C is capital A plus under the root capital A square minus B. So C can be written as C is equal to 914.46 plus under the root 914.46 whole square minus 56112.5. So I get the answer for C as 1797.71 mm which is greater than 1500 mm. Hence, this is not the right case. So, selecting the standard length of the belt as capital L is equal to 5413 mm, that is 5.413 meter. So, taking length correction factor Fc is equal to 0.96. Now, again, we calculate A is equal to L by 4 minus pi times capital D plus small d divided by 8. So I get the answer as 736.71 mm. The value of B is again recalculated as capital D minus small d whole square divided by 8. So I get the answer as 56112.5 mm and capital C as A plus under the root A square minus B. After substituting the value I write down it as 736.71 plus under the root 73.71 whole square minus 56112.5. So I get the value of C as 1434.3 mm which is less than 1500 mm. So this is the right solution. Next step is to calculate the belt tension. Before that let's calculate arc of contact that is theta. So theta is given as 2 cos inverse of capital D minus small d divided by 2c. So I can write down it as 
theta is equal to 2 cos inverse of 1120 minus 450 divided by 2 into 1434.5. So I get the answer for theta as 152.99 degrees or 2.6701 radians. Next is to calculate arc correction factor Fd. So from PSG, I can take Fd as 0 0.98. Step 5 calculation of the belt tension. So, before that, let's calculate first arc of contact theta. So, theta is given as 2 cos inverse of capital D minus small d divided by 2c. So, we can write down theta as 2 cos inverse of 1120 minus 450 divided by 2 into 1434.5. So, I get the value of theta as. 152.99 degrees or 2.6701 radians. Next, R correction factor FD from the PSG 7.68, I can select FD as 0 0.93. Next, ratio of driving tension is given as T1 upon T2 is equal to E raised to power mu theta into cosec beta. So I can write down it as T1 by T2 is equal to E raised to power. 0 0.25 multiplied by 2.6701 into cosec of 20 degree. So I get T1 as 7.0407 times T2. I know the formula for power as given as T1 minus T2 into V. Therefore, after substituting the value of P as 55 into 10 raised to power 3 and T1 as 7.0407 times T2, I get the value of T2 as 402.52 Newton. And after resubstituting the value of T2 in the equation of T1, I get the answer for T1 as 2834.02 Newton, wherein T1 and T2 are the tension in tight side and slack side respectively. Step 6 is to calculate number of belts, that is NB. We have the formula number of belts is equal to P into FA divided by kilowatt rating multiplied by FC into FD. This we are referring PSG 7.70. For the ratio of capital D to D as 1120 divided by 450, I get the value as 2.49. For this, FB is equal to 1.13. So, equivalent diameter DE is given as DP into FB. So, 450 multiplied by 1.13 gets me 508.5 mm. For a cross section D and velocity 23 meter per second, this we are referring from PSG 7.63 and DE is equal to 508.5 mm, which is greater than 430. Let's collect the earlier one. For a cross section type D, and velocity as 23 meter per second, which is referred from PSG 7.63, and DE is equal to 508.5 mm, which is greater than 430 and over. Therefore, kilowatt rating is 21.7. Therefore, number of belt NB is given as 55 into 1.1 divided by 21.7 into 0 0.96 multiplied by 0 0.93. So I get the answer for NB as 3.12, which will take approximately as 4. Step number 7 is to calculate life of the belt. So under this, let's first of all calculate maximum induced stress, that is sigma max. The formula for sigma max is sigma t plus sigma b plus sigma c. So I can write down it as t1 upon NB into A plus et upon D plus mv square upon a. After substituting all the values in the above formula, I get the answer for sigma max as 6.3703 Newton per mm square. Next is life of the belt in number of stress cycle, that is LC. We have the formula sigma minus 1 divided by sigma max whole raised to power m is equal to LC upon 10 raised to power 7. So, Sigma minus 1 is 9 for V belt. So write down it as 
9 upon 6.3703 whole raised to power m is equal to LC upon 10 raised to power 7. So I get the answer for LC as 15.87 into 10 raised to power 7 cycles. Next, life of the belt in working hours that is L hours. We know the formula LC is equal to V upon L into L hours into 3600 into number of pulleys. So let's put the value of LC as 15.87 into 10 raised to power 7 is equal to 22.62 divided by 6.124 into L hours multiplied by 3600 into 2. So I get the answer for L hours as 5967.43 hours. Next, life of belt in years that is L years. We know the formula L hours is equal to L years multiplied by month in year multiplied by working days in a month multiplied by working hours in day. So I write down 596.43 is equal to L years multiplied by 12 into 25 into 16. So I get the answer for L years as 1.2432 years. So dear friends this way we have solved this numerical. Thank you.